Hello, I'm Reverend Chantal, Team Vicar here in the parish of North West Side. And it gives me great pleasure to announce, I'm just actually really super excited to say, that the National Church of England has decided to invest in the people and places of Sunday. So our stubbornly faithful hard graft has paid off and we're getting five years of funding to help support us and continue our parish vision of exploring ways of gathering all people together as one to grow in faith and confidence, knowledge and skills. The Beacon Project SR5 will be lighting the way as we seek here to do more, be more, live and love more, to pray and to play, listen and learn. Let me give you a wee parish tour. Over 175 years, Holy Trinity has stood solid and clear, high on the hill, watching over the weir. Where shipbuilders live and glasses were blown. Now, we mostly build cars and hope a Nissan will own. Cuthbert's Red House sits within State Streets, opposite a green field where swans and youth meet. There's a play park, a football, you can play with abandon, two halls for groups, and a new community garden. St Bede's Town End Farm, now a community centre. Skinny pigs and bingo alike all can enter. With friends old and new, a place for folk to come. Resident and toddlers and kids full of fun. Three sites, eight estates, a castle and a stadium alight. Schools, pubs and shops and a new bridge you can see for miles at night. The funding we're getting will be easy to spend. We've so much we want to do. In fact, the list never ends. We'll be recruiting the folk to join our staff team to see what growing church here might really need. A project coordinator is top of our list. To organise and drag these dreams out of the mist, you'll need admin skills, overview and ability to plan. You'll be working with me to enable all that we can, keep records, tick boxes, turn hundred to zest, inspired by the spirit to help us bring out the best. Next, a chaplain for families to walk with babies and mum, dads, grandparents, brothers, sisters, blended families and on, without judgement or limit, but with plenty of fun, to respond to the request, to teach the young ones about faith, to encourage asking questions in a safe space, to love and inspire, listen and care, to crack songs and stories, God's love to share. Then a youth and children's community worker rounds up our box of tricks to assess what's already going on and add to the mix. Go into the schools, form connections, come alongside, bring the good news of Jesus, leave nothing untried. If none of these jobs seem to quite float your boat, there's still lots you can do as part of the communities of hope. 18 to 30 year olds can come and volunteer because there's a scheme that we're part of to offer placements for up to a year for those testing vocation or exploring ministry or just trying to figure out who or what you're meant to be. You'll be part of the team and do some church leading for some theological study and a little bit of reading. The Beacon team here 
will plan and deliver activities and events through summer and winter, Christmas and Lent. Quiet prayer and celebration for the shy and the bold, the church for all ages, the young and the old, the regular attender, lonely, bereaved, or the busy as bees who just some space need. We want to support those who struggle with debts to help them ensure their bills can be met. We're hoping to feed folk who are hungry for more, be it friendship or faith or food. We want to open the door, give courage to ask questions, expanding the mind, start conversations, and maybe even some answers find. Lots that we've planned or done in recent years is centered around food, eating, and cake. But the Bible seems to be reasonably clear that that's a decision Jesus would make. We'll adapt and develop worship that for us is true, for the historical and the modern, for in our purview. Technology and tradition both have their say. We like to laugh a lot, love a lot, and learn on the way. Church isn't meant to be confined within walls, so you'll find us outside and online, wherever God calls in schools, at the shops, or out on the green. There really isn't a limit to what church can mean. We hope that you've caught a sense of excitement and want to pitch in. To our vision, our hope that over doubt and darkness will win. So come and join us. We're open despite COVID-19. It's time to embrace what growing into our potential might mean. To be a beacon of hope shine the light of God's grace here in and for Sunderland both as people and place. We're creative, flexible, hard-working folk who care. To simply make things better for all is our main prayer. So let's turn around what's been a pretty tough year. I'm Wearside Rev in my parish north of the Wear.